This is RBR Short Films 13, aka Ryan, and today I am doing a video, an unboxing video, um, video that I've uh, wanted to make, but I don't necessarily have hold. I, I, I um, uh, that I haven't got around to. I, I think that's just the word. I haven't got around to doing it, and um, and yeah, I feel like today's the the day to do this. So here we go. Uh, I got two uh, new Blu-rays, 4K, um, Halloween Kills, limited edition steelbook. Um, yep, uh, I'm not used to that. In Wisconsin, um, we never get bugs in uh, January. Um, and here in PA, since I've lived out here, I've seen stink, stink bugs and ladybugs and all different kinds of things <laughs> during the fall and winter. Anyway random um i uh, i can't believe I, I got this limited edition steelbook um but this is this is my favorite halloween film um this is the this is the back of the movie um what's awesome is that it, it includes the theatrical the theatrical cut and extended cut now i haven't done my review of the extended cut yet which i should get around to doing um but i just been I've been, I've rewatched the extended cut and kind of, you know, analyzing it and is the theatrical cut better? Is the extended cut better? I think the theatrical cut is better, to be honest. I think the theatrical cut has a better ending, um, but I do like the unrated stuff in this extended cut. Like the kills are more brutal and and things like that. Um, and yeah, I mean, the extended cut's like you know a little different. Um, I'd almost say it's it's no different than the theatrical cut, but um, the ending is completely different. So uh, it is to me considered an alternate cut of the film, the extended cut. Um, so here we go. Uh, oh no! Also, I got Scream in 4K uh, HD and Blu-ray. I tried so hard to get the um, other version, you know, with the ghost face mask, um, but this was like the last one available. Um, and really the easiest one available to get, but I'm just happy I got Scream in 4K. I saw the re-release in the theater, um, and I loved it. So the fact that I own, own the new remastered, uh, in, uh, on Blu-ray is awesome. Um, and, uh, this, this movie definitely needed a, a 4K remaster or transfer or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, it looks great. Um, but, uh, I think I'm going to start unboxing the Halloween Kills Steelbook first. So I'll leave this along with, uh, Scream, and we'll start with Halloween. So it's a Halloween Scream unboxing, uh, video. How cool. Halloween Kills and the original Scream movie. So, alright. I use the scissors, um, sometimes. So... Uh, this isn't it cool when you take like the, the wrap off, you know, the plastic wrap. Okay. <laughs> just make sure I have it up to the camera as I do this. Oh. All right, the steel book. Right. Okay, wow, I get very excited. <laughs> Um, I don't always get steel books too. This is a, a one of the few steel, a few steel books I have, uh, but I had to get it for Halloween kills. Um, and so now I'm going to take this off here and we have this and then we have, oh my God, an incredible cover art in the back. Michael Myers right there. Look at that the shape look at that shot like that looks like something you'd see out of the original movie you know like that takes me back that's nostalgic that's nostalgic with the red how cool is that and how are steelbooks you see why isn't this the poster of the movie you know over the one we got like why are the steelbooks cover arts always better than the actual posters you know um 
I would have loved for this to be the real poster. I really would. The, oh. Anyway, here we go. And this is incredible. Ah, comes with a digital code. Movies anywhere. That is what's cool about um, Universal and Blumhouse with the Halloween movies is that you can have a movies anywhere uh, with these Halloween films that they're making. Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, Halloween Ends. Um, you don't have to rebuy the movie. You know, if you have like different digital, you know, streaming accounts, like like if you have a Vudu and you have a, a Apple TV and all that uh, accounts, you don't have to keep rebuying the film. It goes to all of your devices if you have them connected to movies anywhere. And um, that goes for the original Halloween 2 and Season of the Witch as well. So I have those movies anywhere, Season of the Witch, the original Halloween 2, Halloween 2018, and Halloween Kills now. Um, but uh, like Halloween, the original, and 4, and 5, and, you know, Curse, and H2O, and um, Resurrection, uh, remakes, um, they're not movies anywhere yet, so, but um, I love that these new movies are, it's just so cool, because um, even the new Scream movie isn't movies anywhere, because um, that's Paramount. So it's it's really cool when you can you know you have to you know, only you only have to enter one digital code and you own it everywhere you know um, anyway so the Halloween Kills 4K Blu-ray it's right here take the uh, take this out all right okay so this is what it says all right Halloween Kills rated R. Not rated, and see, not rated because uh, for the extended cut, R for the theatrical cut. It's an Ultra HD Blu ray, 4K Ultra HD, and that's a cool shot of Michael Myers. All these shots of Michael Myers on like this whole cover art is better than all the posters that we've gotten with the recent Halloween films, my opinion. These are epic. Look at that shot of Glory. I mean, how cool, you know? That could have even been the poster. So now we're I am gonna take out the theatrical cut. Uh is it? No, not the theatrical cut, it's the 1080p version of the movie. So if you don't have a 4K Blu-ray, um you can watch it in 1080. I love when Blu-rays they do that. You know, it's like something happens with your 4K Blu-ray or whatever, you still have the standard 1080p Blu-ray of it, you know, so you still have a Blu-ray of the movie. So there you go. Looks nice. So yeah. Um Steelbook shows pretty much that. I don't see really anything else. If I missed anything, sorry. Oh, I think it's let's see if I can Oh I can sort of see it. It's Karen looking up the window. Um uh when she sees young Michael through that window in Judah's room. Um, yep, that, uh, that's really cool. It, cause it's like, it's so grainy. <laughs> um, it's hard to see that, but that's, that's what I, I'm picking up on. All right. So that is the Halloween Kills 4K Blu-ray unboxing. My favorite Halloween film. My favorite horror film is Halloween 2. So, um, I can't really count Halloween 2 as the best Halloween movie because it's my favorite horror film, not just my favorite Halloween movie. This is my favorite Halloween film. It's not my favorite horror film. Um, so I put this as the best Halloween movie, but not as, like, in my top five favorite horror films, uh, you know. Uh, but but it is the best Halloween. Um, my opinion. Uh, I know a lot of people um, didn't necessarily like this movie. Um, and, you know, I understand um, the evil dies tonight, da 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 like, you know, wasn't a big fan of that stuff either. But, I don't know, I enjoyed the movie for all the, the, the all the great things in it, and I love the flashback opening, and being able to, to see the original shape, 1978 Michael Myers in this movie, was, was awesome, because they do all this stuff with Michael Myers now, where he looks zombie-ish, or his mask is all messed up or torn. And in Halloween Kills, the movie starts and, you know, boom, it's that original Michael Myers, you know. And you're finally, it's like, it's it's fan service, but it's the fan service we deserve. We haven't gotten 
as Halloween fans, we haven't gotten that treatment with the franchise in ever because it was remade and then it was, you know, brought back and, and it was brought back with nostalgia, but it wasn't like that. So where it was, you know, like the opening of Halloween Kills is shot like the original movie. You know, it looks like the original film. That's what's so cool about it. So anyway, Halloween Kills 4K Steelbook. It's pretty, pretty cool. And now we're on to Scream, and I'm excited to open this. So, it's a yep, stream or download to watch anywhere. So, you, it, it's not movies anywhere. So, you know, anyone that, that is getting their copy pre ordering the new Scream film, Scream 5, um, be sure you're careful where you know where you are getting it digitally, like on Apple. If you're getting it on Apple TV or you get are you getting it on Vudu or you're getting it on Amazon Prime or if you get any of those um, be sure because um, it's not going to have any movies anywhere kind of access so it's only going to be one of your digital accounts uh, that the movie is going to go to so um, anybody doesn't know that because I, I got confused with that for a long time with digital codes for for films um, and learning what studios you know have movies anywhere like Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers Pictures, movies anywhere, um, you know Universal movies anywhere, uh, Paramount, no movies anywhere, Lionsgate they don't do movies anywhere. So um, yeah, it depends on the, the studio. I wish they'd all do movies anywhere, but yeah, I have to think it's rights issues and stuff or something like that. Anyway, this is what the what it looks like and I'm gonna open this when's the last time I opened a scream blu-ray I think that would had to have been 2011 with scream 4 God, it's been that long yeah because they didn't come out with a blu-ray box set of the first four movies that was like really awesome like worth it. like there wasn't like a shout factory scream factory you know for Blu-ray set of the, the movies back then uh, and they still don't you know but I would love to see that like a Shout Factory um, Blu-ray collection now that there's five movies you know that'd be that'd be awesome so here we go yeah you guys comment let me know if you guys would think of that if, if you know Shout Factory Screen Factory did a uh, you know a five disc set of of the screen movies, a box set, a new box set. You know, a bunch of new bonus features. Come on. Because, <laughs> uh, I, I mean, that would be really cool. My, I think so. Um, okay. So, all right. Here, now we're going to open up the case. There's the digital code. I can never show it, you know. <laughs> But, you know, when you watch it, it's like, please show me the code. <laughs> All right, so it's upside down when you open the uh, the case. But then the disc, when you, you can swing, you can move the disc up. And then the mask is, you know, normal. Uh, awesome. That is probably the coolest um, uh, cover art that I've seen on, on a disc for the screen movie so far. Um, yeah, it's it's so simple. It's it's Ghostface. It reminds you of 1996. It reminds you of Scream now. It reminds you of just Ghostface and Scream and like the history, of all of it, because it's such a simple photo of Ghostface. It's it's not a different kind of mask or anything, you know, extravagant. It's just Ghostface. I think that's why it's so effective looking at it. 4K Ultra HD, Ultra HD Blu-ray, DTS HD. See. That's 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 where I noticed that the audio wasn't different with this new Scream uh, for uh, Blu-ray. Um, the picture was uh, of the movie quality is extremely noticeable. That it's completely better. It looks better. You know, you can there's like a lot of blue kind of lighting and colors that are really really good. Um, great contrast and saturation and brightness. They didn't fix the sound of Scream. Uh, I remember getting the Blu-ray of it, all three Blu-rays of the first three films, like 10 years ago. The, it's so loud, the, the sound. And when I saw the re-release, the sound was still just as loud. So 
might that might be the issues they they use DTS HD master audio over like Dolby surround or like something like that you know it's because it says Dolby audio but it doesn't say Dolby surround or anything like that so I don't know, almost wish they would have got THX for this one screen film and just you know to clean up the sound because it can get so loud sometimes um, but uh, yeah it's the picture quality that stands out with the 4K Blu-ray so one last look of uh, Scream. Uh, the special features. I haven't read the special features. Comes with um, a bloody legacy. Scream twenty five years later. Audio commentary by director Wes Craven and writer Kevin Williamson. I remember that commentary. I remember listening to that. My God. Uh, oh, that wow, was a while ago. Uh, production featurette behind the scenes. I remember the production featurette. See, I have the original DVD box set of the first three Scream films. Like I, I got a. Uh, refurbished um, a long time ago of uh, like that old DVD box that had that fourth disc and and uh, that was that's that's the coolest those are the coolest bonus features is is that box set because it shows you a lot of like um, uncensored scenes uh, I mean uh, scenes that were censored like certain um, brutality uh, with the gore and stuff with the scream movies and they show a lot um, in in that uh, box set um and so that was cool behind the scenes but yeah it's cool that it comes with um the stuff in a, in a new documentary of bloody legacy screen 25 years later that's, that's that's great i like the images at the back of the the case and um yeah so that is the um scream 4k blu-ray sorry that i did not read the bonus features of the halloween kills so the bonus features for Halloween Kills um, is Gag Reel. Um, a lot of these I've already seen. Um, gag Reel, Deleted and Extended Scenes, Haddonfield Open Wounds, The Kill Team, Strode Family Values, uh, 1978 Transformations, The Power of Fear, Kill Count, Feature Commentary with Direct... That's what I'm looking forward to is finally this commentary. I have not listened to the commentary yet for uh, Halloween Kills. Um, feature commentary, feature commentary with director slash co-writer David Gordon Green, and stars Jamie Lee Curtis and Judy. Oh, Judy Greer is a part of the commentary. Okay, well, that's gonna be fun. Um, yeah. So th those are the those are the bonus features. So really good bonus features includes both cuts of the movie, which I didn't even know that this was they were gonna come out with an extended cut of Halloween Kills because Halloween 2018 was just released as Halloween 2018. You know didn't re really have a different cut of the movie but um it's cool that we do because halloween series is known for different cuts you know um the original halloween there's the tv cut then halloween 2 there's the tv cut you know and then um halloween 6 we have the producer's cut and then um the remakes of rob zombies like you have the director's cuts of those movies and then now halloween kills you have the extended cut you know, which has a different ending. So it it's cool that the Halloween movies do have different, you know, cuts of the films, different endings. You know, it, it, it's it's cool because Halloween four, five, um, you know, it didn't really have anything different. I mean, Halloween five Blu-ray that just came out, they released the alternate opening, but that wasn't like included, you know, like in the movie itself. You know, so. And we're talking about like a cut, you know, separately. You know, we, there's there's not one for H two O. Not I like to see one for Resurrection because there's a bunch of deleted scenes for that movie, and um, it's almost like a completely different film compared to all those like deleted scenes and e endings. You know, to the film, it would be nice to see a different cut of that film. Um, but uh, yeah, that's something that has been known about the Halloween franchise is creating different alternate cuts of the films so I, I enjoy that and um yeah so there you go Halloween kills 4k steelbook and scream scream 4k so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will make a video uh in the future and i hope you enjoyed this and i will talk to you all very soon all right peace